Good Saturday evening, and tonight uh, what I have been doing is reading in Alvin Plantinga's book, God in Other Minds. A uh, professor at, where is he? I think he's uh, Notre Dame, or where, well, he's a professor. So he's been discussing the ontological argument, and I think it's kind of funny because uh, in this book uh, by Hicks, he makes the point that there's actually a at least St. Anselm has two different ontological arguments, not just one, and pl uh, planning is going off of one uh, ontological argument. Plus, I think it's interesting, both of them are missing that Thomas Aquinas, although he was a critic of the ontological argument uh, in the Summa Theologica, actually has three different uh, ontological arguments. And uh, haven't got haven't finished what uh, planning has been said about the ontological arguments, but I think it's really important that you, you have the... Uh, Anselm's two versions. You have Rene Descartes' version of it, and you have uh, Thomas Aquinas' three versions of it. So uh, the point of bringing up all this is that uh, people like Richard Dawkins think that people who are religious or have faith are really stupid, and too bad he's shutting his mind to this really interesting debate whether or not we can use an ontological argument to prove God's existence. That's really important because evolution can account for both the cosmological and teleological arguments, but not for the ontological arguments. So I think it's something we need to pay attention to, uh, aside from getting your own, uh, having your own faith and your own uh, witness through faith that way. So ontological arguments.